Hello everyone, welcome back to Tinkercad. Today we're going to create a very simple phone stand, but of course you're free to decorate it and customize it any way you want. So let's get started. Once you have signed in to Tinkercad, click on Create a New Design under 3D Designs. After your project has loaded, click onto the title and rename it as Phone Stand Your Name. So now we're ready to start designing. We're going to make the base of our phone stand first. So that is a box shape. So let's bring out a box shape to the middle of the work plane. And we're going to change the dimensions to match that of the IKEA phone stand design. So clicking onto a corner white square, change the length to 8 which is 8 cm because this is mm so 80 mm will be 8 cm we're going to make an actual one and for the breadth we're going to change that to about 13 cm so that will be 130 mm okay it's going to look pretty big but actually this is the actual size of a phone model now what about the height um we can actually adjust this height accordingly if you want. If not, you can always leave it at 20 because I think this is a fair height for the phone stand. Okay, so that will be 80 by 130 by 20 mm. All right, now we're going to create some rounded edges to our phone stand so it looks a bit more interesting. So let's go ahead and bring out this round roof shape. Now you notice that uh, we are going to put this on this end and the back. Okay, so it has to be rotated to face us. So we're going to use this flat rotation arrow on the bottom. Click and drag, rotate to 90 degrees. Okay, such that the flat part is facing us. Okay, and then uh, I'm just going to move it forward so you can see a little bit better. Now we have to stretch it long to fit the dimensions of our base phone stand. Okay, so click onto the white corner square. If you can't see, you can scroll your mouse to zoom out change the length to the same as that of the previous shape that will be about 80 okay and since the height of the box is 20 we're going to keep it at 20 breath okay because we're going to still have to rotate this one more time okay now everyone this is the tricky part you will now need to use the side rotation arrow so if you can't see it you have to rotate your work plane so click and drag the view cube Rotate it to the side like that so you can see this arrow here. Okay, we're going to rotate 90 degrees such that this round roof is standing up and the flat part is facing the box. So click and drag. If you if you are unable to click on it, you can also click this angle box here. And you just type 90 degrees, press enter and there you go. All right, once done, you notice that it's sink, sunken into the work plane. So we have to raise it up until it touches the work plane at zero okay look at the one that has the little arrow beside it zero okay now it's touching the work plane uh, we are going to duplicate before we start aligning okay so uh, before that let me just shift it i'm going to shift it to touch touch the box okay so using your arrow keys uh, just gonna shift it a little bit Use my up arrow. Ah, make sure it's touching like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfectly in line because later we can do the alignment for that. All right, let me just check. Huh? Yes, the height is the same. Okay, now we're going to duplicate this round roof shape to make another one at the back. All right, so to do that, you can just click onto this duplicate and repeat. It will automatically make a new copy, but it's at the same place. So you have to click and drag to pull it out. Now, we are going to flip this the other way around. So click onto the mirror, click onto the horizontal flip. Okay, I'm going to rotate my work plane because now we're working on the back side. Okay, and then using my mouse or arrow keys, I'm going to shift it to touch the box. Okay, remember to play with your view cube to check. Huh? It has to touch the box. I realized that my first round roof is not really touching, so I will have to fix that. Okay, you can zoom around. Uh, use the view cube, use your mouse to control. Just make sure that the round roof is touching the box. Okay, so no gaps. Alright, don't worry if it's not aligned. Okay, you see, there's a gap here. 
use my arrow keys to touch. Okay, no more gaps. I oh, still have. All right, there you go. Okay, doesn't don't worry if it's not properly aligned because we can always use the align tool for that. Okay, now that my round rule shapes are all touching the box shape, I'm going to select over everything, use the align tool, align uh, just the middle dot here that is facing the work plane side. So just click this one and you will see that everything is nicely aligned. Okay, and once done, do a group. Okay, so this is the base shape of our phone stand. And don't forget to change the color to any color you want. I'm going to keep it at red. Now, the fun part is here. We need to cut out a hole such that it is at the right angle for our phone to slot in. And it has to be the right thickness as well. Okay, so the standard phone is about, uh, about 8 millimeters thick. So we're going to give a bit of extra space, about um, 10 mm, which is about 1 cm. So what I'm going to do now is to create a fake phone hole. So I'm going to bring out this whole box shape, put it on my work plane. Okay, I'm going to click a white corner square. I'm going to change the dimensions as such. Okay, for the length, I'm going to match the length of my phone stand here. So that will be about 80. Okay, and for the breadth, this is actually the thickness of a phone. Okay, so 20 is a bit too thick for a phone. This is about 2 cm. We just need 1 cm, which is that. Okay, then once done, what about the height? If you want, you can set a phone height of about maybe 150 mm. This is 15 cm. Okay, so this would be around the average height of a very tall phone. Okay, now the angle is important. So how much should the phone be rotated for you to view the phone nicely? We have to rotate it down by 30 degrees. So let's look for this side rotation arrow here. You might have to zoom out to see it. Click and drag, or you can click the angle box above it here. Change it to 30. Oops, wrong way. Sorry, let me undo that. I think it's opposite. So that will have to be minus 30. And there you go. So that is how much slant our phone should have. Okay, you notice that it's, it's risen up a bit. That's fine. Okay, we're going to make sure that the raise height is about 1 cm, which is 10 mm. Okay, now once done, this is a perfect hole. We're going to align the two shapes together. So drag over them, align, middle dot. Okay, just the middle dot that's facing you. This one don't need now nah, because we don't need the hole in the middle of the phone set. We just want it at the side. Okay, you can also use your arrow keys to move it forward or backward. But I'm going to keep it here because I really like the placement of the hole here. Okay, now once done, do a group. And you will be able to see your hole appear. Okay, if you don't want to group, you can also leave it as ungroup first. Okay, so you will know how much things you can put on your phone stand to decorate without blocking the hole. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup it first. All right, and this is what I'm going to do to start decorating. Okay, to customize my phone stand, I'm going to put things on top of the phone stand. Now, everyone, this is a new trick. You can click onto the work plane here. Okay, and then you just click onto the surface of this phone stand. What will happen is that they will bring the blue work plane up to here. So that will mean that any shape you pull out will automatically rest on this phone stand here. Okay, so I'm going to do a very quick decoration by exploring creatures and characters. I'm going to go to the Astro Board. Uh, just do some random designs. Do I have my Astro Board? Nope. Let me go back to all. Okay, you can design and pick out anything you want. Ah, there it is. Okay, pop it onto the work plane and you notice it will rest nicely here. Okay, so what you want is not to put it too much into the hole. If not, it will cut the phone just away from the hole. All right, and then what I'll do is rotate. Okay, you can actually choose to face the phone itself or face the back part of your phone. I prefer to face the back so that it's not being blocked by the phone. Okay, arrange it nicely. Careful not to touch the hole or shift the phone stand, okay? Just work with whatever you're decorating with. If you want to add text, you can go back to basic shape or you can do a search for text. Click onto the text option, click onto the work plane. Okay, this one has to be rotated, but we're going to modify the text first. So change the text to anything you want. You can write your name. I'm going to write hello world. Okay, uh, can't really be seen, so let me just change the color there. 
all right and can change my font as well tell you what, i'll just keep it at this okay but i realize it's a bit too big so i'm gonna just click the white corner square to resize it and shift it back to my phone stand okay so once you're happy with it uh you can also rotate it i'm going to rotate my words huh? because it's a bit odd okay so i'm just going to use the side rotation arrow let's see uh, 90 degrees what will it appear as okay right now it's upside down so i will need to use this arrow here and rotate it all around okay so that would be 180 degrees there it is and use the black cone to raise up to touch the phone stack so if you can't see right hide the text too make sure it's touching at zero so that will be touching the phone stack okay so once you're happy with it you can actually select everything and do a group and after waiting a short while Okay, you will see that your phone stand is completed. Okay, so once done, you can go ahead to export your work. And don't forget to click the Tinkercad button to save your work and return to the dashboard. Have fun!